So what is Anissa going to do in the next 10 years? The answer is more. 10 years ago when Anissa was founded, cybersecurity, information security, they were very important for the techies, but they were political fringe issues. And now it's really at the center of the digital economy, and thanks to that, the economy as a whole. So I, I can only assume that 10 years from now, Anissa is going to be one of the most important, one of the biggest agencies that the EU has. And that the impact, the number of people, even the budget, are all going to be a lot larger than they are today. So we have to get out of this sort of sense that digital education, cyber education is something special. Um, orienting in the digital world has to be as natural to us as learning to read and write, learning how to cross the street safely, learning very basic common sense things like locking your door when you leave home, or not crossing the street on a red light. So what I really hope for cyber and cybersecurity education is that we don't have cybersecurity education as a separate concept, that it's just part of the common sense life skills that we pick up at every age. I mean, you might learn some things in kindergarten, but there are a lot of common sense life skills that you learn in high school, as a secondary student in university, when you're 45 or 50, and that this is just another one of those things that is part of being human being. Okay.